This is the burial grounds. This People is the are burial ground here. where your dad is buried. <laughs> it's spooky. <laughs> Just play, like, I, I like this area. I'm. I like the spooky shit. I. Do, I mean, I just got done of like a whole month and a half horror movie marathon. So it's I've a kind of interesting. Like shit. the first area of this game is like the spooky level. Yeah, dude. Give me more of that shit. Like I feel like what's the only other game to do that? Like Wario World on GameCube. Yeah, I was just thinking of that. That uh, spooky area. That's not the first area though. That's like the second one, right? Yeah. Um, and it was pretty know, early on. It's pretty early. That's a good area though. Um. It's really creepy with the boss. That was another game that kind of killed my. <laughs> <laughs> I have only played the first level of that. That is one of many games that I have that I haven't actually touched too much. It's good. It just gets very repetitive. Uh, thankfully, it's not too long though. Um, oh, ow! It, oh, yeah, that's right. This game's repetitive. like so hypersensitive to like tech falling and like locks in yeah, that animation. Fall damage. Gotta get stamina up. But like he doesn't take damage. He just kind of like flops on his back. It's like ow! Ow! So this game is kind of Mario 64-esque in that you do like missions in different levels that are kind of like open-ended, except the missions, are, there's like only two of them in each level. And like they take yeah. forever. They take forever, yeah. Um, that whole wave of post Mario 64. Yeah, like every oh, game without like mimic it. Yeah. Um, where am I? Oh, that's for the ram. Actually, I think I can get past this ram without. Yeah, like Probably. he doesn't give a shit. Dude, you should speedrun this game. <laughs> Why? I mean, speedrunning get... it is probably more enjoyable than actually playing it, because you can get it over with. <laughs> but then you have to hear the worst parts of the game, which is tax phrases constantly. I guess, but it's over faster, so... I don't think that's the worst. That's definitely not the worst part of the game. It's not even, like, top uh, ten worst parts of the game. I, I'm i really irritated by tax characters, so, like, for me personally, it's probably going to be the part I hate the most, no matter how bad the rest of it is. Mm. I will get to what I hate the most. I mean, I should probably clarify. I have played through this game before. It was a while ago. It was, like, when it fucking came out. And, like, like that. The rock on infuriates me more than any bad level design can. It's just that, like, he has no fucking personality. Eh. Also, like, I, I hate, I, I hate how she's like, now take it to one of the later. statues. Like, she has to <laughs> no tell shit. me what to do. She doesn't let me do anything on my own, you know? Hmm. Sorry, you yeah. were saying something? Oh, I was just gonna say we'll get to the parts that I really hate more specifically in some of the uh, dungeon designs. Or, not even dungeon designs, just existing in the dungeon. It's just like the... not very good. It, it's just the, the writing, like, for Tack himself that irritates me so much. I hate... Are you That's familiar funny, with the concept I, I never of... Even, uh, that never even really bothered me that much. Are you familiar with the concept of AstroTurf marketing? I've heard that phrase, but I have no idea what it means. Okay, so AstroTurf marketing is like when you advertise something as if it's already really cool and popular in the hopes that people uh, yeah. assume it is and kind of catch on. Like, Sonic the Hedgehog's well known for doing that. Like, Sonic Hardcore AstroTurf Market. Tech also AstroTurf marketed. But the difference was Sonic had good games to back him up and Tech had this shit. Yeah. Sweet. Kind of like the like, power sweet. glove. Sweet! Yeah, and like... That's why the franchise fans into such obscurity. The only people who remember it are like the few people who are like nostalgic for this game who either like just blinded by nostalgia because let's face it, you can be nostalgic for something shitty. I know I am. For plenty of shitty oh, things. I, I, I mean, my nostalgia kind of ran out for this game. Now I more <laughs> think of 2018. But I did have a... You can watch my... My Let's Plays are all unlisted, but they're still in playlists, so you can still find them. But basically, the start of that Let's Play, um, I was just like, holy shit, nostalgia. It's like the first thing I say, and... It was true, and then, but I mean, I was the, when I played games as a kid, I didn't get very far, so I always was more nostalgic for, like, the first half of the game. I feel and that hardcore. The like second the first... half, like, me near, near the middle of the game, it starts to get a lot worse. Like, the beginning's, like, bad, but it's not, like, atrocious. It's just average, like, you it's, can it's, play it. I wouldn't call it average. This is below average, because it's so goddamn tedious. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm just, like, but it's not like, going it's to, not like, like, where... I'm just going to where there's a glowing tooth, and there's nothing yeah. in the way, and there's nothing interesting it's very, about it. It's very, like, feels like a chore. Yeah. Uh, but the second half gets nice. to, like, it feels like a chore, but, like, you're, like, being tortured by, like, Jigsaw <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Perfect analogy for that. <laughs> um, That's why we're playing it right now. Less nostalgic for that half. More... The only nostalgia comes from you, like, looking at the back of the game and being like, oh, I can't wait till I get to that part. But uh, I waited a long time, and I'm glad I waited that long because it's awful. 
I had um, I had two things I wanted to say. The other half of like people being nostalgia blind is there's a lot of people who just haven't revisited games like this. And those are the people who like to leave comments on my Let's Play saying that, how dare you criticize Nicktoon's Battle for Volcano Island? I know the game is a broken, glitchy mess as evident by your videos, but I played this as a kid and I loved it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Never underestimate. Like, I've changed my opinions on movies that I've watched like a month ago and then rewatched them. And then yeah, I was like, like, you don't oh, have to stick like, to your first opinion on something. Yeah, and like, you'd be surprised how, you know, some forms of art you need to experience multiple times. I agree, um, hardcore. To, to get it. Some actually don't hold up multiple, like, there'll be some, like, uh... Like the sixth you know, sense. watch... I disagree with you on that, but... I don't like that movie. I know you don't. We'll get into Shyamalan. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we have to have a Shyamalan don't discussion. Don't worry. Oh, I'm saving all of that, because based off what I watched last night, um... Like, cha but, um, Jack, shut up! Oh God, what was I saying? But there'll be, like, some movies that are really good in the moment when you watch them, but then you watch it, and it was like, oh, it's kind of riding the high of, like, I'm watching a movie, and people are acting, it's really <laughs> tense, and there's whoa, music in the background, and it's like, oh, what's gonna happen next? And then you watch it again, and it's like, oh, like, I was, it, was, it was kind of a roller coaster ride, um... You know, but then you watch like the master and you're like, what the fuck is this? I don't get it. And then you watch it again. And you're like, this is the most profound thing I've ever seen in my life, even though I have no idea what it means. So I have a stupid question for you. And that is, what is the most nostalgic part of any game ever for you? Like right now or like in my entire life? Ever. All time. Most nostalgic ever? game. Most nostalgic part of a game. Part of a game. Um, I'll come back to you. I'm gonna think about right, it. Mine would watch probably this be the drop cutscene. Mine would probably be the uh, dock level from Scooby Doo: Nine Hundred Frights. Oh, that's a good one. Either that or like some of the early levels of Yoshi's Island or Mario World. Yeah, I um I have a funny <laughs> story about this scene that I'm gonna tell. This is one of the few highlights of the game. We have to enjoy it. Yeah, this guy's great. This guy shows up for one scene, kills it, and then fucks off. Um, so right here. I thought his name was Cough Drop because I didn't know what a cough drop was when I was a kid. It's like, oh, his name's Cough Drop, duh. Yeah, because he coughs cough and he coughs and he drops out of the coffin. Mm. Coffin and then, uh, well, tax like Cough Drop as in do you want a Cough Drop, but I thought it was like, oh, hey, Cough Drop, what's up? <laughs> I love this guy's like voice and demeanor. It's great. Mm, got any marble reds? He reminds me of, uh... Right to me! <laughs> he reminds me of, like, Billy Bob from, uh, Sling Blade. Sling Blade? I have no idea what that is. Oh, you never seen that movie? No, who's in it? I, I feel like you'd like it. I've seen so many movies at this point where I don't even have to like a movie to, like... In, like... Now when I watch a movie, I'm just like, I'm watching a movie. This is the best, like, hour and a half of my day. <laughs> It's like the highlight period, because you don't have to worry about the shit you actually have to do. Mm -hmm. Well, like, I mean, I watched, like, Freddy vs. Jason uh, on Halloween today. I watched three different movies on Halloween, uh, all ranging in quality and decade they were made. But, like, Freddy vs. Jason is not a good movie, but, like, I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> this sucks, but... Flora's demeanor is adorable. Yeah. It's like, God, why would you just make play a, as her in this game? Yeah, I know, I was gonna say, just make a Flora game. Yeah, it's a tax spinoff called Flora, Plant Waifu Justice. Flora, yeah, Plant Waifu. Um, okay, so game on most of the game, or like anything? Any part of a game. Any part of a game, okay. Um, oh, there's a lot, definitely. So I have a few in my mind right now. Luigi's Mansion is definitely one of them. The foyer uh, of Luigi's Mansion is like, yeah. I spent oh, yeah. hours in just that fucking foyer as a kid, like scanning everything. Yeah, there's that. Cause, like, there I was too is... scared to go into the dark room. There's that. There is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Um, um, I don't know. Who's Sorry. the man? What part, Tech is I don't know what so part awful. of that game would be the most nostalgic. Um, uh, but also, I mean, Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> that game rides heavily on nostalgia, I feel like. And, not that it's and, bad, not that it's bad, just bad by Mario standards. And Pikmin. I never could get into Pikmin. Uh, I'm trying to think of what part of Pikmin. 
Well, real quick, we need to deviate from this guy actually to explain that we have a new fucking mechanic here. So this is the uh, staff, I guess. It's just a giant it stick. Sucks. The tack, tack looks so pissed when he holds. Look at him. Yeah, it's like gonna shoot you. You can use it to like vault up to high places or to smack people. Um, honestly, I think I prefer it to like the normal club because the reach is longer. They both suck, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like comparing dog shit to human shit, you know? Yeah. Um, so I would go with one of those games. I can't really, I'm thinking more of the games as a whole, but I'll just go with the foyer from Luigi's Mansion. Cause, um, I spent, see, I had way too much time there as a kid. So this right here, uh, get used to seeing this guy. This is douchebag uh -huh. plant. So glad I don't have to play this shit. <laughs> the, the music here is kick ass, but that's pretty oh much yeah, it. the music here is like a solid ten out of ten. But like, God, this fight is awful, and this game loved this fight. Basically, hmm. you they just either kinda... loved it or you know they're just like, all right, we gotta pad this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you just wait around till he taunts, and then you attack him, and there is no lock on button, and fuck that. This sucks. Ugh. And get away because he like what? launches you. No. <laughs> Dude, they're sending out, they're sending out talk, the toxins. I think really the worst thing about this fight is just I can't see him without like constantly turning the camera towards him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's terrible. It's really bad. You got it though. I mean, it's not like it's not a hard fight, it's just like a tedious fight. Woo! Oh my god. Everything Tax says feels like they just didn't care about him as a character and they just wanted him to say things that people would quote. Mm. And like that's that's why I hate his phrases more than anything else in this game. It's because like I see I see what you're like getting the, at. Even like the bad parts in this game, I feel like there was some heart in them. But it's like Tack is a character. There is no heart in the character of Tack. He's very, just awful. Uh, corporate, I guess. He, he just feels manufactured. He feels so like artificially manufactured to me. Oh yeah. Cool. Um, I I, like, I, I definitely what I see what you're saying. It's just for me, it's not like a deal breaker. I guess. I mean, it's like. I don't really give a shit. It's, it's like, yeah, like subjectivity is like, how much does it impact you? Objectivity how is what's there, and like subjectivity yeah. is how much you care about what's there, you know? Yeah, how much is that? That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, it's like, it's it's pretty objective that like what he's saying is kind of, I guess, Bad, like, but bland. You know, but like, if, if you whether or not you care about, about it. it. <laughs> this is the first yeah. area, right? I don't need to go back there. This part confuses me so much. There's I know I need to find track. like four of these fucking plant bitches. Yeah, well. See, it makes you. It makes it seem like you have to go back there like that because it's leading there. But I don't think you do. You, you basically have to find four plants. Yeah, like my other issue with this game is that like I feel like there's so many times where just like either Flora will over-explain something or I have no direction at all. There's like no in between. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like maybe Flora could say a little less, but like the game could just be a little more intuitive. I don't know. Hmm. Or they could have just you know made a better game. Yeah, they could just not made tack. They could have made uh. Yeah. Flora get the game. No, they could have made this game good. That's what frustrates me so much about it. Yeah, well, the fact that this game got, like, three fucking sequels. Yeah. And a really terrible TV show. The TV show is so bad, it makes the game look good by comparison. Which, I did, me impression did do, like, we recorded, like, three or four episodes of the second game. And I was like, nah. They're all just as bad. They're all terrible. I, I couldn't come up with the shit to say about that, and I was just dying. It was just abysmal. Because you have, like, the nostalgia, at least, for this game, so it's, like, something to talk about. I did on the second one, but, you know, I played at least. And then the third... I remember, like, the third one was the first time as a kid that I was, like, disappointed in a game. Because it was, think, like, different. I think Nicktoons Unite was the first time I was, like, really disappointed in a game as a kid. I... F Fucking love that game. Well, you're out, you're a little younger than me, so like when it came out, I was like old enough they could start to see through the bullshit. Yeah, I wanted it for Christmas and I got it. I was so hyped. I don't remember actually my experience playing it. I just remember getting it. That was one of the uh, first games that like I bought with my own money, and it was like Nicktoons Night just horrible. When did that come out? 2004? 2005. I was myself seven. Yeah, and I was like nine in 2005. What year were you born? 96. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm like two years older than you. Okay. I was born in 98. What well, month were you born in? Uh, November. November. Oh, so I was born in January, so it's more like a, a year. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, at least you get to hear that so song. So you're like, like, a, you're like a year and two months, yeah. With like I think tone. the feathers are infinite, because every time you spawn enemies, they drop more feathers. So that means you yeah. don't have to collect them all. Thank God. Then what's the point of the counter? I don't know. 
<laughs> it's just there for tack. Oh wait, I didn't get the uh, I didn't get the fucking the, the seed or whatever you need from him. This plant semen. <laughs> tack seed that he's spreading. <laughs> Cha-ching! Cha -ching. Okay. It's like, what are you, like a shitty like... Mr. Krabs knockoff? Like, fuck off, Tack. <laughs> SpongeBob, me boy. Ahoy there, bucko. It is I, Joe White Tack. SpongeBob, you better get your ass back in this <laughs> kitchen or I'm gonna fire your ass. Can we just say, if Joe White was in this game, it would be so much better? If he was here right now. If Joe White was Let's Playing this with us? Yeah, get him on, I wanna talk to him. Who are these, whose ribs are these? I don't know. Also, that's like a teleporter back to the hub, right? Yeah, there's some weird shit that plays a cutscene here, and it's confusing. All right, I know I need to find more plants. I need to get more than plant boys, but like, I don't know where the <laughs> fuck they are. This way, I guess. Whoa! Mr. Krabs, what are you doing at the Nuremberg Trials? Army boy, I was just following orders. <laughs> <laughs> you like said something before that like sparked something for me, and I totally forgot what it was now because Tack is already like, like making me dumber. Something. They're like I had something like, to say about it, but uh -oh. like, then like Tack was, is like destroying my IQ points. So uh, uh, I said the toxins. I don't. It wasn't. I don't fucking remember. It was something about Tack. I think. Oh, it's Nicktoons Unite. Nicktoons Unite. Oh. So like, the third Nicktoons game, Attack of the Toy Bots, it gets so much worse because Tack said it. <laughs> and it's like if we could just not have Tack, this would be great. Mm. Like, do we need Tack? They were pushing for him so hard, and it's like kind of like. It's so awkward seeing Tack here next to all these characters that people actually like. Mm. It's like, what the fuck are you doing here, Tack? Go away. No one invited you. Well, we're already at the third plant boss fight. Yeah, I might as well do them all in this one video then, right? Yeah. I don't know the game super well, so like, I have a timer running, but I don't know how we're spacing out these videos. I believe we're almost done with this section. All right. Actually, Josh, do you want to, like, run a timer next episode so that way you can check when we're, like, 15, 20 minutes in and see if we're, like, near the end of the level or, like, halfway through or whatever? Sure. All right, because I would actually... You know this game a lot better than I do. Um... Let's hope. <laughs> you... You... You last played, played this game more in recently. 2018. I last played this in, like, 2004. Yeah. I like that little marimba sound. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Here. Oh, that's all the plants she said. Oh, cool. We can fuck I, off. Why aren't there captions in this game? I don't know. And it's like, I'm the exact opposite when I play a game on my own time. Like, I hate captions, but when I let's play, it's like, I need them. For me, it depends. Um, sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. Do we have to backtrack, or can we just go to, like, the teleporter? Mm, I think you need to get something to activate the teleporter, but... You, you might as well try it. But like, I got I got all the plants she said. Plant wife who said I slay in all her plant brethren. <laughs> you killed all my relatives, thank you. <laughs> I hated my in-laws, Tack. <laughs> I think there is something that you can get to How? put here. I just don't know if you can do it now. All right. Um, do I have to go but back to like the beginning area then? I guess so. All right. I guess you can use that little uh, shortcut up there. Yeah, yeah, let's show it off, because uh, I <laughs> we had to show off everything in Tack. Yeah, every fucking pixel. Every We have to show off every possible pit you can fall down and die. Every possible pixel in place you can stand on, we must show. <laughs> you have to cover every piece of ground with Tack's fucking smelly feet. <laughs> Tack, put some shoes on. Oh, why does that like why does that veer off to the side like that? That's the worst. That uh vine is it controls so poorly. Why does it do player, that? Yes. Why can't they just control like every other vine in the world? Because then you can hang yourself with it. <laughs> and I guess I do that to avoid playing tack. Yeah, me too. Like, like, look, it like veers off to the left there. Like, what am I doing wrong? I think you just need to get like a higher grab. I don't know. If you're looking for answers, I don't know if I'm your man. <laughs> Fucking uh, tack sucks. Yes. Correct. If I was in a room with uh, Hitler, Bin Laden, and Tack, and I had a gun with two bullets, I'd shoot Tack three times. <laughs> <laughs> I'd materialize another bullet just to shoot him again. I would tell Hitler that he failed and the Soviets are coming, so he kills himself. 
I would hang out with Bin Laden because he seems like a cool guy, <laughs> and uh, I would just ignore Tack because I am done wasting energy on him. I would just. I put don't him even. Out of his no, like Tack feel. I feel like Tack wants to be dead too. So like I put him out of his misery. Yeah, I feel bad for the guy. I mean, look at that haircut. Yeah, it's it, like I said. It's like Dora the Explorer. If her hair was like a tent. It's it's pretty bad. It's horrible. It's fuck. It's like uh, it's like knockoff fucking Mowgli. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> it's like Danny DeVito.